I'm Mark Johnson, and uh, this is uh, my first video of the uh, summer with uh, short sleeves on it, so you can see my nice uh, uh, winter suntan here. And uh, <laughs> I've been called out to uh, look at a building by uh, the county, um, to which we did mm, five years ago. And uh, I should have gotten in touch with them sooner or to uh, talk about recoding it and keeping it um, um, uh, keeping up on the maintenance so anyway if we're here today we're looking at it and there's some areas where the base coat like we call it has failed um, down there maybe some critters have gotten a hold of it um, this is my foreman there, the buddy, the wonder dog. Um, you've got some deterioration here, which I can't explain. Maybe it was not really cleaned as well as it should have been. Um, I've got some other failure here. But um, if any of you are familiar with the, um, with the permachink um, stain process, there's a base coat that goes on here um, one or two coats and then we go over it with a clear coat and the clear coat should have been done a couple of years ago and what you're seeing right now is the deterioration from that not happening uh, we've got the base coat missing here so we have to go over it and um, do what I call spot staining um, this has a really big overhang on it so normally we would fill um, an upward facing check or crack like this uh, to keep it from absorbing um, water but our overhang here is probably three feet so it's really um, a waste of time down on the bottom though it might not be a bad idea to do that because we've got all this concrete around here and the concrete creates a, a, um, a backsplash situation so anyway, um, next time around, I think we're going to do more of those lower ones. And then over here on this end, we've got kind of a, um, got a fireplace here. And this face is just about due south, so the exposure is more extreme. And uh, you can see that um, has taken its toll on the railings. Um, the timber on the end here is in good shape though, so anyhow, um, it looks like the railings have suffered the most damage from the sun. And of course the fascia board, so we'll um, redo that as well with uh, spot staining as I, as I refer to it, and a clear coat. So. That should uh, get them up to speed for another five years or so, hopefully.